somebody had the idea to go and spend 20 quid on makeup. An excuse to buy more makeup. <gasps> Don't tell the husband. Hi guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Um, welcome if you're someone new who has joined in because of the collaboration that we're doing. Um, this video is a collaboration with several friends from YouTube. Um, we've got together, we've decided that we're going to do this collab video. Um, and what we're doing this time is we're doing full face makeup with a budget of £20. Um, now, I have cheated in a way that I do have some of the products already. I have gone and bought some products, especially for this video. Um, but where I've got products that fall into that category, I'm using them. Because obviously, try to save money for Christmas, as we all are. Um, so, yeah, I am trying out some new products today. Um, but this is the look that I've got um, for £20. I don't think it's unlike really what I normally wear. I'm quite pleased with it. Um, I would go out like this. So if you would like to see how I got this look, carry on watching. Thank you very much. Okay, so starting with a completely blank face. <laughs> Sorry, that was just my sense of humour then. Um, with no primer, no nothing on. With this collaboration, um, it's... £20 that we could spend um, on makeup products. And believe you me, even with drugstore brands, try to find stuff that would come into that category and be able to do a whole face of £20 was such a challenge to do. Um, yes, I've cheated because I've used a lot of the products that I've already got um, simply because it's coming up to Christmas and I've bought enough makeup products like in the last year it's been immense totally immense and you're probably the same and probably the other girls are the same as well on the collab so let's get on with it first thing that obviously you would need is foundation now i bought this yes i've tried it okay um it is new um but it's from w7 and i bought this for three pounds um, and this is in buff, and it's the HD foundation, which is supposed to leave you with a lot of high definition um, texture and what have you to the skin. Let's see how we get on, um, because I've only actually tried this in practice runs, um, because yes, we do do practice runs, believe it or not. Um, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Precision Brush and see how... How we get on so i've just tapped a little bit onto my brush let's see let's see how we go well, that smooths on quite nicely now this is the problem you see because i haven't used primer and the reason i haven't used primer is because i couldn't afford to use primer in the 20 pound budget which is a bit daunting for me really because my skin is not good and I'm going to use the foundation as my eye primer also. Because let's face it, if you've got a £20 budget that you can only spend £20 and you only have a £20 note on you to buy your makeup because you're going out or you're going to a wedding or for any particular reason that you need to be made up and you need... For a person that doesn't have any makeup whatsoever, could be that you're at school um, and that you can't afford much. Um, it could be that just your circumstances, it could be any reason whatsoever as to why you would only be able to spend this £20. Obviously, for us, it's the challenge of trying to do it to see what we can come up with for you guys that don't necessarily have masses and masses of money to spend not the best foundation in the world I have to say I think this retails more but I was able to pick it up in factory outlet so if that's called cheating never mind but I was able to get my hands on it for three pounds 
I've gone my fingers, which I never do. Um, this is really, really, I'm finding it really hard to blend into my skin, if I'm honest. I'm finding it really hard to build up. It's not covering up any redness at all, but it's, I'd say it's very light to medium coverage. And I like a full coverage. But to find a high coverage foundation that would allow me to, to do other stuff on my face was near on impossible so that's why I've ended up with this one I'm not saying this is a bad foundation I'm just saying it's not good particularly for my skin I'm starting to layer this up a bit now let's see how we get on let's use this brush and see how we get on I've changed brushes because the other one's just not working with this it's almost like the foundation it's slipping now that foundation brush I use a lot so I know it's not the brush but it does feel like it's slipping on my skin. So rather than actually blending into my skin, it's actually moving around a lot. There we go, that's actually not doing such a bad job now. Now that I'm actually buffing it in, that's not too bad at all. I'm probably going to fast forward with this because this is going to take a while to do. So I need another pump just to make sure that I'm happy. Hmm, it's actually stinging my skin. That can't be good. Not too bad, not too bad, I can live with that. Um, okay, so that's the W7 HD foundation. I paid £3 for this in the factory outlet. Um, if you've got a factory outlet near you, have a look because you might be able to pick this up for a bargain price of £3 like I did. Okay, setting powder. I, although this is old, I have gone and bought another one as backup and I got this for £2 in Asda. Um, now, I actually do quite like this, um, but I would normally set my whole face. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my concealer um, first, which is the Last and Perfection, which I always use. And I, it's £4, and it's probably a bit rich, really, for this video, but I can't be without this. This is my, my go-to for everything. So I had to try and cut out some other things just so that I could keep this in, because this is a really important um, part of my routine for me, because this this lightens up under my eyes, um, covers up a few blemishes, covers up dark circles, etc. And I know what you're thinking, I don't have any. Um, no, I just have lines. Now, I don't know if you can see... But on my nose, that's not blended in hardly at all, that foundation. That's really... Yeah, I don't like that foundation at all, if I'm honest. It's not something that I would be repurchasing. I'm having to use quite a lot of concealer here to cover up my red cheeks. So, yeah, this... At the moment, the collection is normally £4.19, um, but I found this, I think it was at Boots for £3.99. So, again, bargain. 
I did buy a new one, but I thought I'm not going to open up the new one, especially for the video, because I've got the new one there. But yeah, what's the point? I might as well just use up my old one. Oh, got a hair. Right. Like I needed more grey hairs. Obviously, if you've only got a budget to do a certain amount full face makeup, you're going to have to sacrifice on certain things and double up on certain things. Um, I hope that what I've come up with is quite savvy. Right, so that's just going to set for a moment. Um, I'm just going to use this, a little bit of this on my eyes as well, just to um, prime because I don't want... I've got terrible lines on my eyes and I always use a primer so I'm going to use my concealer as a primer. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it but we'll see how we go. Just let that sit for a few minutes. Okay now I always blend as you probably know, I always blend with a sponge. And that's really handy because I normally have three or four looming around and today I can't find any of Yes, I can. Found one. Just put that up. There. Don't I look really attractive? <laughs> Sorry. Right. I think with these challenges, I do like these challenges. Um, I think they do get a bit ridiculous if I'm honest, like doing makeup with food. It does get a bit silly. That concealer is blended in really nice over the top of that foundation. And I think that's a credit to the concealer, not the foundation itself. see the really see the bags under my eyes okay let's just blend in my eyes see how I get on using that as a primer I mean it might not work it might look absolutely hideous but you've only got a budget of 20 quid you're gonna have to do everything you can do Now, I have found that my eyes are really quite sticky. Um, my eyes are really sticking today to the um, concealer, which it doesn't normally do. Yeah, so it's not left a nice glowy finish or anything like that. It's very flat looking is the only way I can describe it. I think it looks very flat. So I'm just gonna set with my two pound powder. Um, I'm gonna set all over my face. So I'm gonna use it like a, a finishing powder just to try and set some of the foundation itself because the foundation is, it does feel, even though it's dry, it feels very sticky very sticky so I think I don't think I'm gonna be able to put up with this for much longer on my face if I'm totally honest but once I put this on it might be better I'll just set and you're probably wondering why I'm using setting powder why I haven't bought finishing powder well it was either one or the other and I couldn't quite get finishing powder into my £20 budget. Right, I'm just going to 
set under my eyes. Try and see if we can get rid of some of them bags. Tumble dry going downstairs. Now I look completely caked. I look completely caked in makeup. Oh well. Okay, so the next product, again, I'm cheating. Um, but this is the... I'm trying to think of the name of this. It's one of the palettes from Makeup Revolution for £3, where you have contour, highlight, and blush. And you can see how much I love this blush. I, I wear it a lot. It's, it's just absolutely fabulous. So I'm just going to contour my um cheeks see how i get on so i'm using again the toothbrush from makeup revolution which i really love mm, there's quite a lot going on there but i'm not really bothered if i'm honest because i feel like i do need a bit of Colour. <laughs> Not that much colour though. Whoa! That's a lot of colour. That's because this brush picks up so much pigmentation, it's unbelievable. I think my camera's starting to steam up. Bear with. My camera really doesn't like being in the bathroom today. Um, okay, now, as you've probably seen, I have quite, quite, put quite a bit of this on, so I'm just going to blend some of this out. not so bad on this side That's not so bad because I can cover up with blusher, so it's not too bad. Um, I'm just gonna um, do under here. Because I always feel like this gets rid of my double chin, or one of my double chins anyway. What I love about these brushes is that you can be really, really precise with them.
feel like I'm going mega quick now. So it contours, as you can see, and without really anybody knowing. I tell you what, this is really awful to blend into because the makeup, the foundation is just, it's not easy to work with at all. Okay, for all, so, all the intents and purposes, I'm going to say my blush is done, my, not my blush, my contour is done now. So I'm going to use the blusher. I'm hoping that the blusher is going to just... I love the colour of this blush, it's a real sort of peachy, iridescent, just gorgeous colour. I think it's beautiful. Let's just make sure we get all the powder off. It just leaves you, it's just like a beautiful golden iridescent colour, it's just lovely. Let's blend that in. Now for the eyes, okay, now for the eyes, I'm using this, which is a Freedom palette, which is the Pro 12 Audacious 3. Now, I think this is meant to be a dupe for the Naked Free palette, free, three palette. So your colours are all in there, um, pretty much like bog standard, every other palette that's trying to be naked um, by Urban Decay. It's just like, you know, everybody everybody seems to be bringing them out. So I'm going to be using this colour in my eyes. In my eyes. Where else am I going to do it? On my bum? You could put makeup on your bum if you really wanted to. I wonder if you could contour your bum cheeks to make them look small. If I could contour my whole body to look skinny, that'd be even better. Not going to happen? No, not going to happen. Okay, I'm just going to just do like um, a light daily look for this. I'm not going to do heavy. I'm just going to do a look that I would be quite comfortable wearing during the day with nothing necessarily special to go to. Um, just as she's fiddling around for brushes. Um, just yeah that i'd be quite happy like to walk to the school and get my girl so i'm going to use these colors transition shades um that's going to be my crease color that's going to be my transition shade so i'm just going to do my crease first god that's really quite pigmented that this eyeshadow i'm using some brushes that i got off of ebay and they are awesome they weren't very expensive either and the trouble is you sometimes think if you're going to buy brushes off of ebay and they're not very expensive oh they're going to be rubbish but i've bought a lot of brushes from ebay um i think these were one pound for a set and they're really nice and chunky in your hands i like to have something chunky in my hands I say nothing. Okay, so I'm blending this through just to give my eyes a little bit of definition. Now, now I'm, as I'm getting older, my eyelids are drooping. So I'm now having to go up even higher than what I used to. 
for you to see the colour. Oh, look at that beautiful sunshine. Oh, lovely. Okay, so I'm going to use this colour here as my transition colour. There's a little bit of fallout, but I'll tell you what, these are lovely. I've never worn this colour, this palette before. I've worn the Makeup Revolution version and the W7 version. But I've never used this one. Okay, so I'm going to go in a little bit darker um, on the outside corners of my eyes. I'm going to use this pretty grey here. And you're probably saying, that's the wrong brush, Missy. It may be the wrong brush, but because I have a lump here that I've said many times before, if you've seen any of my other videos, it's really difficult, so I have to be really gentle around there. So that is just in my outer V, if you can see. I'm going to use, I'm going to use the same brush on the other side because I want to match up, obviously. In comes that sun again. These colours are so lovely. Now also you've got to bear in mind that my mirror is quite a while away so I'm not looking at me close. Let's just blend all that in. And that is really the trick to any makeup look is to make sure that you are well blended. So, as you can see, the colours are blended through. So, on all of my lids, I'm going to use... Let's have a look. I think I'm going to use this colour here, actually. This is quite a nice colour. I'm going to put that all over my lid. going to bring the mirror up. I mean look at that, there's no fallout. There was a little tiny bit of fallout on my face. Hardly any fallout at all. Let's blend that out. Now I don't do under the eye, as most of you already know. Um, because my eyes are odd, like the rest of me, pretty strange. Okay, so then just to highlight the um, brow line, I'm going to use this colour here, which I think is quite a pretty colour. So I'm literally just going to put a tiny amount on my eyes. And this just makes them pop a little bit. If you can see what I mean. A lot of people say to me, oh, you know, your eyes always look a bit odd. Yes, my eyes are very odd. Um, because of my drip, I mean, if I could lift this up, then it wouldn't be so bad. But I'm getting old. It is what it is at the end of the day. Right, 
So before I put the highlighter on, I'm just going to do my brows. Um, oops, there goes my makeup, my lipstick. Um, I'm going to use my Old Faithful, which is my MUA pencil, which is a pound. Um, and I mean, I really love this. And I don't overdo my eyebrows because I'm too old to be doing scales brows. And you'll have to excuse me because I do have, I do need to have a good pluck. Um, I mean, this is a really good colour for me. And I wear this a lot, a heck of a lot. Um, so yeah, just brush that through. Just to thicken them up a little bit, really. And that does take years off you by having darker eyebrows. But don't, you know, if you're like the same age as me, I, I wouldn't recommend going completely black. There we go, right. So again, pound. Can't go wrong. Um, for my actual highlights, I'll come back to this. As why wouldn't I? Um, using a very small brush on this. I'm actually using a setting brush on this because I don't want to be too blingy today. I just literally just pop that on there. And you can see that the highlight in this palette is just lovely. I mean, that's just from a little tiny bit. I mean, and look at that. That's beautiful. Just a little bit on my nose. A little bit on my forehead. Just to deflect them wrinkles away. Put on my chin. A little bit on my cupid's bow. In the big mirror now. Literally, hardly any on my brush, and it's like really blingy. I can't. I don't think you can beat this little palette. Contour blush, and and you know, three pounds. Not necessarily what I would normally look like, but hey, who cares? Okey dokey. So I'm gonna use I'm actually gonna use the highlight palette to highlight in the corners of my eyes and my bra my brow bone. So I really like this Audacious 3 palette, I have to say. I'm really pleased with the results. But then I love the iconic 3 by Makeup Revolution, so why wouldn't I? Okay, I'm just going to blend it out again. Just because you blend, blend, blend and blend. Okay, so that's eyes done, that's cheeks done, that's face done, so it just leaves me my eyes. Now, I'm going to be really probably kicked off at, at this. Because I can't afford to buy the eyeliner, I'm going to use the brown brow. Um, I think because it's 
an eye product, I think you're still safe using it. And I'm not used to using brown in my eyes. I used to I'm not used to using dark, but black. But if my budget doesn't go to a black eyeliner, brown will have to do. It doesn't isn't irritating or anything like that, so it, it feels fine. Um mascara. This is the Awesome Lash by Makeup Revolution. This was two pounds. Um, and I know what you're probably thinking, two pounds for a, a mascara. It is a good mascara. I, you know, yeah, it is. Now, I don't normally do the tops of my eyelashes, but I'm going to. Because I've noticed that when there's videos of me talking like, Obviously, shut my eyes. You can see powder in the tops. <laughs> it's quite. Got one eyelash there that's really quite clumpy and it's bled. Hey, I'm being a cheap bird today, so let's just get rid of that bit off the end because I don't like that bit on the end. And it's still there. Okay, for lips, I'm going to use Makeup Revolution Passion, it's autumn. So I want a nice red colour. I'm not going to use a lip liner and that's probably the worst thing ever but I can't afford to it. I can't stretch to it. So if my lipstick goes wrong, I will just have to live with it. So here goes. Do this the old fashioned way with the tissue. That's such a pretty colour.
there we go that is the lipstick done we look like I've got yellow teeth now because it's bright red well it does it's not as red as it looks on camera I'm looking in the mirror here and it looks really really red but actually in reality it's not as red as that at all so there we go there's my finished look How's that? 20 quid of makeup. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like it, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure that you go and visit all the other ladies in this collab that we're doing. Um, because they're all absolutely fantastic. They're all really lovely. Um, and we just thought it'd be a really good idea to get together to do this look. Um, well, not this look. Our own looks for £20. So, yeah, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.